Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. I'm your instructor Varmathrax and in today's course we will be discussing how to change the font size and type to improve the readability for the game on your monitor settings, resolution, eyesight, etc. So the way the game is set up with the default font you may or may not like the size that it displays at and it might be too hard to read too small too big whatever if you want to change it you can and I'm gonna show you how to do that so currently I just want to show you in game what the font by default looks like at my current resolution settings so I need to kind of point out how I've got my display set up in the game so that you can kind of compare it to your own setup and make whatever adjustments you feel are necessary so I want to point out just basically how the font sizes look over on this side of the screen so you can see how it's displayed it's fairly sharp and clear but it is a bit small and it's trying to display a lot of information so we have some options to change that but before we do let me show you how this is set up display wise so if I go to options and then graphics I've got the terminal width and terminal height set to be the closest possible to the 1920 by 1080 that my monitor resolution is set at. So with a terminal width of 240, you can see here the window will be 1920 pixels wide. And the closest you can get to 1080 is by doing a terminal height of 67, which provides 1072. If you go more than that, it's 1088. Less than that, it's 1056 and so on. So 1072 is the closest I can get. So that's the terminal size that I've got, and that's the closest I can approximate for a 1080p monitor. Next, I've got the chest hole 32 tile set is the graphics uh, pack that I'm using for the tiles. I've got windowed borderless mode set and that's what I would recommend for anybody playing uh, experimental with the launcher and so on. It's a lot more stable than full screen so go windowed borderless and that should give you enough information to understand how I've got my display set up. Alright so to talk about the fonts I'm gonna exit the game Okay, so when you install Cataclysm and you want to change your fonts, go to your Cataclysm installation folder, inside of which will be a configuration folder, just named config. Now I've created a config current folder. This is just the setting I'm about to switch it to. This is the original setting. So as always, whenever you're editing files, make sure you back up your original files so you don't lose them uh, while you do your experimenting. Uh, but currently what you were seeing was the default setup and if I go into that config folder you'll see this list of files. There's only two in here you really need to pay attention to for this particular course. Those are the fontlist.txt which I'm going to go ahead and open up and then the fonts.json. Okay, so the fontlist.txt is basically the game's way of knowing all the valid fonts that are installed in your system. So it's just a long list of all the various fonts that you have access to on your system and it gives a name as well as the location of that particular font. So during your experimenting or testing, if you have a particular font that's not on this list, you can add it. Just drop down to the bottom or put it anywhere in the file you'd like. Um, and just put an, an entry in. So you can put wingdings in and it just points to where the wingdings font file is. So windows fonts wingding.ttf. Um, so you can add more fonts to this list how you please. But there's quite a few to choose from so you can probably find something that's going to be acceptable for you somewhere in this list. So that's the font list. The other one is the fonts.json. This is where you actually set and tell the game what font type and what sizes to use for the file. So this is the default setting. So currently it's set to the Unifont type. And you can see over here, Unifont medium is right there, Unifont. And this is what you're gonna type into this location for typeface. So put the name of the font without the extension on it. Don't put whatever the descriptor is up here. Um, and that tells it where to call out and locate that information. So right now the game by default uses the Unifont font and it has a font width of 8, font height of 16, and font size of 16. Um, now I'm not going to go into the details of font scaling and so on. It's not a technical course in that way. I just want to show you where this information is at. I'm going to show you the two settings, the default and also the one I'm using currently in my videos. And I'll show you the 
uh, fonts.json file for it for comparison and also load the game in using it so you can see what kind of a difference it makes. Um, but these are the two files so you can make whatever changes you need to within here and uh, then just save it and load your game up and it will be using that font. So that's the standard and I'm going to go ahead and change these so let's close this so I can edit. And we'll switch this over to config-original. And then switch this back to the config. All right, so let's look at these real quick before I load the game in. So this is the new one that I'm using. And I'll go ahead and open up the old one for comparison. All right, so uh, this is the new one that I'm using. So I'm using a font width of 12, height of 24, font size of 24, and the typeface. Uh, I forget what this is called. Let's open this up. It's the Gentium Book Basic. And basically, I just went through and tested a bunch of these. So I just changed them, loaded the game up, saw how it looked, fiddled with the sizes. Did that a number of times, trying to find one that I thought gave a larger size that was more readable but still provided a sharp, clean image. Um, so, like I said, feel free to play with it however you'd like. If you find a particular one that looks great, let us know in the comments of the videos or my Discord or Reddit or wherever because it's information other people might benefit from. Um, and it takes a bit of work to roll through all these. So if you do happen to find one that looks really sharp and clean at a larger font size, feel free to post the info somewhere so we can uh, kind of share the effort. Um, but that's the current setting. So as compared to the original, that was 8, 16, 16 sizes using the Unifont font. All right, so that's pretty much everything you need to know there. Very simple to do. Just manage those numbers and the font type. You can save that information. And once you do, uh, when you launch your game, You can see right from the entry that it's got a different font type and different size and scaling. And we'll go ahead and load back into the same place we were a minute ago. And that's the changed version. So this over here won't change. None of this is affected. But over here you can see the lettering is much larger and kind of thicker, so it's easier to read. I'm tending to use this for videos on YouTube in particular because people are viewing the videos on various devices, phones, computers with varying resolutions and so on, and that very tiny original font is just a bit too small for some people to actually be able to read legibly on the various devices. Um, but if your eyesight needs a little uh, adjustment or correction or help and you just can't read that really tiny font, uh, comfortably, then you can feel free to use this kind of a method to change it to whatever is comfortable for your particular setup. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you can see the map, let me show you that, also changes with those settings. Um, so you have options there as well. You can tailor one or the other, however you'd like. Um, but that should give you enough information to go ahead and make these kinds of adjustments and have the font style and size suit your situation. Hope you found the information helpful. As always, please leave like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know if there's any future courses or episodes you'd like me to work on and see. And I hope to see you in the future. Have a great day. Bye-bye.